Hi, today we're gonna to look at how to set up touch functionality on your ViewSonic portable monitor. So whether you're using Chrome, Raspberry Pi, Mac OS, Android, Linux, or Windows devices, you'll be able to use touch functionality on your second display. If you're using a Windows device, your device might not actually recognize which display is the touch screen, in which case you're gonna to wanna to configure some settings. First, go to Control Panel on your device. Then you're gonna to wanna to head to Hardware and Sound. After that, you'll go to Tablet PC Settings, and then you'll see this button, Setup. Press Setup, and then follow the instructions to let your device know which display is your touch monitor. If you find that your touch is not so accurate when you're using your device, you can configure the touch settings as well. All you'll do there is under Display, and then click Calibrate, to calibrate your settings to get better touch accuracy. Even if your laptop does not have Type-C USB, you can still have up to 10 points of touch feedback on your second display. Connect the HDMI to mini HDMI cable from your laptop to the mini HDMI port on the monitor. Connect the USB Type-A to Type-C cable from your external device to the monitor to enable touch controls. For Mac OS users, the touch monitor is supported in mirroring mode and offers you single touch that's usable and flexible. To set up your touch monitor, just hit System Preferences, go to Displays, select Arrangements, and check Mirror Displays. Now your touch monitor should be all set up. Thanks for watching and I hope this helped you set up your new monitor.